Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Total War Fronts of Britannia with our Cersei campaign. In this episode we are going to get ready to go to war with the Danelaw, with the ex-Northumbria. And what we need to do, our mission, is to get to the town of Stafford and conquer it in order to achieve our goal for the Stone of Destiny or our next step in the Stone of Destiny campaign. Let's check, do they have allies? Time. They do not have any allies in the area, which is gonna make it perfect for us. What we will do, we will also push it. for some fame. At the moment I'll end the turn because that's where we left off in the past episode. We are about 200 points away from having the necessary fame to do a long fame victory. So I will push for that now. We will take a look at the buildings that we have available. We will check which ones provide us with fame. And we will be going forward with that. This man has been whispering rumors behind your back, riling up the people. You probably shouldn't stand for it now, lest it become a much bigger problem later on. So we can pay for his silence, but let's declare our authority. For Aileen, a bit of a hoot from the bard building tail. He gain, gives us two public order, plus two. Public order, this one enjoys some ribald rhymes and a bit of a sing song as music and stories bring the people together. He is a herder from the pasture, providing him with units replenishment. That is good for our armies. We are eager for glory. King Ed, I am going to bring you through. I think I'm actually going to try to go straight for Stafford. We might not even have to declare war on Northumbria. Because they've taken back Stafford. So we will have to see what we do Our there. With this army. Legendary. I guess I'm gonna keep them in the area for a little bit. I am going to upgrade this court. In order to reduce the corruption. The men are eager to get to it. We'll serve well. Mm, with the rest of the armies though. I think we should be moving them around. These guys don't protect a whole lot. This one has quite a few units and I would like to bring them to the front line here. And have a bit of an exchange. Or no, just leave this troop here. The men are eager to get to it. These soldiers, I will bring them in the town first. You will stay food around here as well. Let's see, I want maybe in this army. War is what we do best. We want another spear, we want another sword. We want another axe as well. Maybe an Alban Axe Warrior as well. None shall stand. You have enough troops there for the moment. I want you to come quickly over here. Our foes will With tremble. you, I will Hurry put you in this port. Is what we do best. And I think at this point, to increase our economy, we will take a look at those unique buildings. Let's see. These have nothing unique about them. We have upgraded this abbey. In this area we said we want a scribe because we want the extra economy from it. Here we have built our unique. And this one costs 8000 for 10 extra faith. Hey, I guess all of our buildings are quite quite expensive, but we do need this extra fame 
because we need to build it up and I don't think there's other ways in which we can do that let's see so we have three 300 and we need 500 for 200 let's see a uh, sell it the Grand Abbey are we constructing that here yes we are on technology we can get a bit of fame through through this path I don't see it. There was. We already gained it. 25 and 30. And I guess that's about it. So we definitely need to keep some money in order to, to increase our fame. Economy aside, I think we might just have to do that. So yeah, let's wait a turn. Let's see how do we balance. We need an, a bunch of food as well. But maybe focusing on some really from the unique buildings might also be a good idea. Okay, Ringan. This man has been planning to overthrow your rule, aiming no lower than the crown upon your head. Okay, let's once again talk to him. We're gaining ice and snow, losing replenishment, losing food in foreign territory. He these two guys went insane. Our bravery is legendary. Yeah, you stay still there. So do you. I'll keep this army on guard. This is really tough on our troops. But maybe if we get here, it's gonna be better. Yeah, we're replenishing a little bit at least. King Ed, you're gonna lose a whole lot of troops. We're not careful. What I'm going to do is going to bring you through here. And probably declare war on Sester in order to reach Stafford. Stafford has only these villages in this area. I'll bring this ship over here and now let's check where was one of our uniquest buildings. 77 food, we're still good on food. There we have it, we can go for 10 extra food here. Providing us with a bunch more military bonuses. Good. That's it. Let's end the turn. On the next turn we will have another 8,000 to spare. I don't know if 8,000 and how much in do we need for the other castle, the other keep that we needed to build. I think maybe it was 7,000. My reputation is growing. Oh yes, he... In trigger, the people don't seem to respond well to authority. We have minus three. He's very influential, losing some loyalty, gaining some governance. Cavalry specialist. Now we can un we've unlocked some good tough cavalry. I want first of all the missiles. Man, it's so tough enough to pick the scribes right now. Mm. <laughs> no, we, we do need the army. We need stronger soldiers. Aileen, the governor, he has reached maxim maximum in the scribes area. He has a full skill team of scribes that help us manage the town. This place is pretty unhappy from buildings, from events. 
Mm, what can we do to increase public order by building a royal court? Yeah, let's build the royal court and a court hill. Try to stabilize it a little bit more. We want from here, not from here, from one of these towns. Is it not here? Oh, it is not a build here. We sail with the tide. And what I'm thinking of actually is that I'll bring my troops here to the border. War is what we do best. And we are going to attack with these two armies and definitely take it over. Then we need to be prepared to advance quickly into these territories. So even though I said that we are not going to be going to war with, with the Dane law, I don't think that's going to be a reality. We need to wait a while. Can't do that just and that is okay with me. Let's for the moment... No, we don't need to check because we don't have any more money. We're just gonna wait. And our king, is he landing? Yep. No, we didn't ask him to land. My abilities are growing. Faction allegiance. A little kindness clearly goes a long way. This man has ceased his unhelpful plotting and instead began to praise you. He became a slave owner, giving a lot more corruption and plus two to zeal. This person, Catal, became gracious, providing him with more influence. We've upgraded this port, like the next one will provide us with even more food. We actually should be bringing in some extra food, as we're gonna run out of it soon. I wanted to upgrade the Royal Hall of the Mountain to the Court of the Mountain. Once again, losing some corruption, but getting more units into the recruitment pool, and we will definitely need a bunch of soldiers soon. So I'm going to bring our army here. On the war path. Off to but this army will stay a little bit behind. Let's try to recruit something that would be good. Like royal horsemen, axes, some Angli Alban axe warriors, and what else? I think that's about it. Good, then we take our king. And we say to you, yeah, declare war here. Do they? They are a vassal kingdom of G Greenwood. Hmm. This does complicate things a little bit. We sail with the tide. Everybody disembark. Maybe what we will do is come to Stafford, then start pillaging. And when we're done pillaging, they will have some uh, rebels. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. For the moment, the governor gets an extra point in scribes. Brega is very unhappy with us. Fleet ready to sail. It's producing us 1700 gold so just not taxing it is not an option all ships see where they uh we're yeah port. let's no not there Oarsmen ready to row we're about to make landfall i think we need to bring our troops back you can count on us just to maintain some law and so they are I guess we will have to work with you as well. For the glory of the gales. I think that's about it as far as those armies are concerned. 
We'll just take this 20 stack. Maybe we will use you to go north instead. I think that's a pretty good plan. What do you guys think? We're at 50 food. And we have another two buildings that will do another minus 50 in total. Right? The two keeps. Which means we definitely need some food. Construction of a storage. This is a church here. Let's go even further with this. With you, you are losing a whole lot of food per turn. It takes you two turns to get here. Okay. I think it's, it's almost... The men are Do we want to, to have these to armies fall. here before we attack? One, two, three turns that is. Or do we want to just go ahead and attack him? I don't think he will bring anything that special against us. He is the second strongest faction on the island and they do have a whole bunch of territories. But I'm guessing that most of their armies are here. Well, we need to break... What new trickery is this? The declaration of friendship. And I think now we can actually declare war on him. Our warriors. Our trustworthiness For did go down a tiny bit. Yep, yeah, let's start building some of these siege weapons. Kill them all! And then bring war in our second best. army as well. Good and ready. No, no mercy! Now this army will keep will them tremble. steel. We're st I don't think we're we ready to go, let's see. Glory. We'll be at minus six. Minus six is pretty manageable. What are our orders? Though it's not perfect. We could use we our king to take fear. over Mam's sister. Just to provide us with a point. Expect great deeds. Right, because we don't want to go to war just yet. Command the long ships. With with the rest of of the factions on that island, we want to take over as much from Northumbria as we can. Peace out. Maybe have like a front line with Winwed. Peace out, and then start a war southern towards the rest of the factions. Mm, maybe even take a look at the map. Let's see what unique buildings. So there is a saint here. We said that we're gonna come to this area. If we get to here, then there's another unique market. And the rest we don't really care for. We were going to advance in here. Oh, there is, there is Pavis. This is Pavis, the one that we used, is, we just started taking it over in uh, Crusader Kings 3, right? They have only one territory left because we've taken over the rest of them. I do enjoy how these two games, two different games, uh, tell the same story. Maybe it's a, a little bit less interesting for I'm you if you live in own. Great Britain, like this is your history. But for someone who doesn't, if who doesn't come from Great Britain, it Boy, feels like such a, a unique no experience mercy. to to be playing two different games and sharing the same story. Bring me their heads. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking. I'm thinking too much. About it. Um, what do I want to do here? For the Morrigan. I think I'll wait one more turn to have two siege weapons. We might not even fight that battle. For this general... Yeah, let's give him... 
some more points into champion. Okay. For the governor, he has good loyalty. Let's provide him with a scribe right now. Maybe we could have put some points into zeal, actually. Hmm. What next? That is the question. This town also has a unique building that works for us. So I'm going to upgrade this settlement. We're go also going to provide some more food by bringing an underground store. Because they do have those stones. Right? And like I'm, I'm not just imagining things. Uh, let's see, what do we do with you? You stay still for a while. None shall you are going to go us. north. We're entering port. And I do want you to land wherever possible and Kill take over forever. this community. I think that's everybody. Show no mercy. Let's fight the battle. Let's not wait one more turn. Let's just go in. I think we're gonna do fine. He has a few swords and a few axes, but we have more. And this is a town on the edge of the sea. Fog, no, no, a dry day weather, okay, we'll fight here, but then there's the beach, a bit of a landing site, can we actually fight through the back, no, this way is blocked, but could have been interesting if we could have fought over here, I guess we'll fight on this side. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Definitely ask these X-Men to drop the siege weapons. We're gonna put swords on it. The swords are quite good. Mostly because our troops are not that great in general. Like these swords and the X-Men for this faction are not amazing. For the rest of them, I am going to keep you behind. I am going to advance our archers in order to distract him as well. We have two spear troops here. I don't think they'll matter. Ooh. Now we the can fire from approaches. here because we have the extra range and they cannot fire on us. That is pretty cool. I didn't think that it would make that much of a difference, but if you think about it, it actually does make sense, right? Because we have the extra... The extra range on them. Okay, let's see. More axes. Do you want to bring some axes and some swords? I think I'll just advance these troops. King's Blade here. Let's check the Alban X warriors as well. With those beautiful shields. I have to say, I do love the differences between the different type of cultures that are within Great Britain. Uh, especially when I was young, I. I didn't really think about Great Britain. I didn't know their history. I, we didn't study it in uh, detail. Uh, 
However, I didn't think so much I would hear about the Welsh, I would hear about the Scottish, I would hear about the Irish. I understood a little bit that there might be difference between Ireland and uh, Great Britain, right? Because they have North Ireland and Great Britain, which are different countries. But I never imagined that culturally they would be so different until I grew up and actually got more into, into the history, into details. And then it started to make a bit more sense about uh, you know, Scottish independence and, and all that. Uh, all of the things that happened in the past what, years, two years, three years maybe. The referendum and everything else. Maybe it's even more now, actually. Okay, let's bring troops. Let's engage his general with our Alban X warriors. Now these are going to be quite tough. I don't know if they're gonna do too well against us, but they might. You there, you attack here, you engage over in front. Let's bring the rest of the troops inside. You go with these troops. Some I'm going to go that way with these Alban warriors. I am going to engage the sword hership. With these axes, I'm going to attack the Dango spears. I have a problem with these archers over here. Okay, those bows are still engaging there. They flee before our might. Nice, we've breaker, broken his left flank. Which means we can move our troops around a little bit. And make sure we're pushing on them. Nice, you go there. You come to the right. He's running from us. Uh, let's bring our cavalry actually and our dogs because we're capturing the gates maybe we have a chance to just straight up attack him Good. now let's just charge his units That's about it for now. We just need to capture that. And we've won! So now we have a territory where we actually can put in some... Another unique building, providing us with even more fame, I think. It's gonna give us 30 more. Let's occupy. Let's. Do we want to keep this here? Are we going to be attacked by Vikings? There is a chance that we would, but most likely not. War I'm not going to worry best. about it right now. I'm going Secure to the make them rest for a turn, and then we'll probably split up. Like do this and this. Or wait for his 20 stack troop to attack us. War 
Next with our king. Never. This army might go besiege him. And they do have some level 3 armors. Is there any settlement here that produces armor? Nope. Probably this one. Huh. We will have to see. Let's just leave it at that for the moment. Let's take Fleet ready to sail. an end turn. And then as soon as we take... Ooh, three armies have appeared already. In different parts of the map. I'm coming into my own! So we can focus his mind and he becomes acrimonious or the kingdom comes first. Let's do with that. Metropolitan. Gain from a level 5 monastery, market or great hall. Plus 2 to zeal, plus 2 to governments and minus 10 to construction cost. Carpenter money is free construction cost and plus 1 to governance. Interested in learning from library. You gain one governance there, so a lot of good traits we've gained. Oarsmen, ready to row. Yeah, you Bring continue your advance there. That's another 20 points of fame. We can't. <sighs> this is not going to be great here. for us. I mean, Never. this is a 20 stack with a general and then he has more troops that are depleted actually Our so we might we might be able to take them all Fear let's check it out all nope. warriors retreat. we can't because he has another 20 stack the army there the so what i'll do is i'll retreat i will go for stafford stay tight there we can't. He can, uh, uh, he can reach can't. us this turn. We might actually be in for a huge battle with our king. These governors will get some scribes. Uh, this guy, general legendary. will get some quartermaster. None shall stand against us. With you, he's actually landed there. We've taken this territory, yeah. Now we can make outdoor assembly, providing us with some fame, some public order, giving us a little less food. But we will build some buildings that will try to help us with that. Let's check out our settlement here for those extra bonuses, right? This provides us with more bonuses from food. Both of these buildings actually. Maybe we can go like that. And we have a bit more money. Maybe even more food like here. Our bravery is Will legendary. be a good idea. Do I want to advance on these ports? More food? More trade? For the glory of the gales. I think definitely. On the warpath. I'm going to advance like Start here. Digging in here. And with you, Await you orders. I am going to bring you through Not this area. All ships I think that's about it as far as our troops are concerned. Shall stand against us. I want this area to have a plus two to public order, maybe right after this. Let's end the turn, let's progress and put a cut in here as we are out of time for this particular episode. So I hope that you enjoy it. Ooh, yep, this is a huge battle, so let's Pull try to run everyone. away from them. Oof, we actually managed to escape there. So with this escape, let's put a cut here in this episode. My reputation and is try growing. to manage this situation to the best of our abilities. 
and I'll see you all in the next episode as we continue our journey for the Stone of Destiny and becoming a legend amongst our people. Have a wonderful day everyone.